Welcome back Nerglings. This is technically the start of the second series of, of Making Bad, simply because I, I thought that I'd leave it at 8 and I'd start my new series with my new iPhone. So we've got some nice widescreen and high def footage for you. Okay, so this is a bit of a rehash of the last video that I uploaded about my Carnival of Chaos. Uh, apologies about that, but basically I wanted to get it right, and hopefully this is going to be right. Okay, so this is the leader. He's a pretty fab model. He's uh, three pieces, main body, and then the axe hands are separate. I don't exactly know where he comes from. If you do know, please leave a comment below, and I'll update this video. And then anybody else that comes along will be able to purchase him. I found him on eBay and I, I genuinely can't remember what the name of the seller was. So unfortunately I, I can't help there. Sorry about that. I've got a couple of guys here. Which are revolting peasants from Lead Adventure. Now they're in pig onesies. I don't know why they're in pig onesies. But I think they look absolutely fantastic. And they really do fit in with sort of Carnival of Chaos themed armies and, and Carnival of Chaos themed sort of warbands for Mordheim. In this guy's even got a tail. Fantastic. As always, based on Hexy with cogs and stuff like that, I just think they're sort of fun, goofy models and they fit in really well. Okay, we have the Strongman. So the Strongman. He is from Gaspez Arts, and uh, he's affectionately known as Quagmire, because he sort of reminds me of Quagmire when he's just discovered internet porn. So, yeah, certainly uh, a fun one to add to the Carnival of Chaos. It, again, he comes in in actually three parts. So the, the main body, and the, the strong arm, and then the, the two sides of his dumbbell are separate pieces. Okay, we have a Citadel Chaos Sorcerer. I like to think his face is melted off or something. He looks pretty gnarly. And uh, he's wearing, or he, he has a mask that he can put on when he goes through towns to disguise himself. And he's got some nice flowing robes there as well. Good stuff. He's sort of screaming in agony or something. Sort of like Dark Man. If you've seen Dark Man, like this video, <laughs> thumbs <laughs> thumbs up for Dark Man. Here we have the unreleased plague bearer, or one of the two unreleased plague bearers. This is the single casting. The other casting has a separate head, so it's a two piecer. But this one's a, a single single piece, and he's really quite lovely. He's got loads of detail, covered in sort of worms and all all sorts of good stuff. And I've, li I've left him slightly shiny, as you can see in the reflection of the light there, just to sort of give him a, a slimy effect. So that's the unreleased playbearer. And then finally I've got a, I think it's a Chaos Familiar, he used to be a Chaos Familiar, he's now a Frankenstein's monster halfling on stilts. Why not? And he fits in perfectly with any Mordheim group. Not only does he fit in perfectly, but for some reason he seems to be naked as well, so brilliant. <laughs> that's uh, that's exactly what we want for more time. Naked halflings on stilts. Okay, so today's added bonus is my play car from Mordheim. It's made up of several different pieces from lots of different manufacturers really. I mean the main carriage itself is from TT Combat and it's actually lasered MDF so it's a really quite light uh, material. You can sort of saw it up and you know mould it to pretty much however you want it. The wheels are metal cannon wheels from eBay. The Toad is from Toad King Castings and I modelled a, a little bit of extra gubbins on his back there just to give him a bit more of a sort of a robust look. The wraith on the top there is a game zone wraith. He usually sits atop a play cart from a game zone. There's some bits and bobs from the 
Blight Kings set there, and then inside we've got a great and clean one. So if I just pop off the lid here, there we go. So the lid comes off, and then we have a great and clean one, and a little buddy in there as well. As always, you know, I like a little buddy. He's sort of you know wallowing in his own filth, and he's got a sort of a a cauldron of you know bubbling goodness in there as well. So he's brewing up some some uh, mighty fine stuff in there. So yeah, that's my super custom crazy play cart. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and peace.